What's up YouTube? It is Kyle here with Unboxed Autos and today I am super excited to bring to you guys the 2021 Mazda 3 hatchback. Now the Mazda 3 is also available in a sedan form but for the purposes of this review we are driving the hatchback so we're going to talk more specifically just about the hatchback version plus it looks way better than the sedan to be totally honest with you guys so this is really the one that you want to be buying. Now, the Mazda 3 starts at $22,650 for the S hatchback model. Now, that even comes with some cool features like radar cruise control with stop and go standard. I mean, so that's really awesome. If you guys do a lot of driving on the highway, then that is a phenomenal feature. And again, at $22,650. I mean, that's a really, again, a great feature to have at that price point. Now, that comes with the standard 2.5 liter uh, normally aspirated engine, makes 186 horsepower and 186 foot pounds of torque. Um, now, however, for 2021, the Mazda 3 gets an all new 2.5 liter turbocharged engine along with iActive all wheel drive. And we'll, we'll jump more into that in a minute, especially when we drive the car. That's what we are in here today is the all new engine model. So very excited about that to finally have a turbocharged engine in this car, which makes a strong amount of horsepower. So that's obviously really exciting. Now, as far as trim levels go, we have, uh, you know, above the S hatchback, we have a select preferred and premium trim. Now they add various features like keyless entry, eight way power, adjustable seats, premium Bose sound system, uh, leather seats and adaptive lighting. So when we're turning the wheel uh, at night on you know, a twisty windy road, the lights actually follow the steering wheel. Um, now that comes out to be about $28,000. Now that again is all with the standard non turbocharged engine. Now again, for 2021, this is exciting news people. They, this is an all new thing for the legendary Mazda 3 hatchback. We have the turbocharged engine, 2.5 liter, making a stunning 250 horsepower and 320 foot pounds of torque, giving it a zero to 60 time of roughly 5.8 seconds. So that's obviously a really, really competitive zero to 60 time. And it comes with, you know, all sorts of other great features that you would, you know, come to know and love in a, a modern day vehicle such as you know advanced parking sensors a 360 degree view camera so you have all of that functionality all that technology at your fingertips here in the 2021 Mazda 3. Now the turbocharged engine in order to get that you're looking at a more premium model um, it starts about $31,000. Now if you ask me obviously that's totally worth the cost. I mean, when you step into the Mazda 3, you need to stop and think for a second. Do you, is, am I in a luxury vehicle or am I in uh, you know, a $30,000 car? Because it is that good that uh, you need to stop and look like, am I in an Audi? Am I in a BMW? No, no, you are in a Mazda actually. And especially, you know, there's one thing, it looks nice, it feels good, which is obviously phenomenal at this price point. But when you get behind the wheel of say, uh, you know, a BMW, it's, it's a great driving experience. You know, when you get behind the wheel of say, you know, a Honda Civic entry level, or even, you know, a, um, a Hyundai Elantra or something like that, they drive good, uh, but it doesn't blow you away from a, you know, a driving perspective. Now, when you jump into the Mazda 3, it's it's hard to mistake it for anything other than uh, you know a German sporty via sporty German vehicle, especially with this engine. Before the old engine, yeah, it was 186 horsepower, 186 foot pounds of torque. Not obviously a ton of power. Um, it felt okay. It felt barely adequate um, which is you know again people buying a base Mazda 3 for $25,000 they're not necessarily expecting or looking for a really exciting dynamic driving experience but with again the new engine 320 foot pounds of torque 250 horsepower those are some serious numbers especially for a car that weighs as little as the Mazda 3 does now the turbo engine only comes with all-wheel drive obviously makes sense the Mazda 3 is normally a you know, front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive vehicle it also comes uh, with an optional um, manual transmission I say it's actually um, 
obviously not optional, it's standard, um, but you need to jump up uh, to a few of the higher trim levels, and it's only available currently on the lower engine level. But you know, the manual is still obviously a really fun, uh, really fun, you know, feature to have if you're really into you know driving sporty the six speed though that's in this car is really it's really quite good um, you know a lot of people are doing eight speeds but there's not really a big need um, right now for an eight speed in the Mazda 3 I'm sure eventually it will happen but honestly guys for right now um, the six speed does a great job still gets really good fuel economy you know, about 30 32 miles to the gallon on the highway I'm getting around 20 around town, 22, you know, again, with the turbocharged engine that we are uh, in here today. Now, as far as exterior styling goes, which is obviously a very important point of uh, any vehicle purchase, the three hatchback looks just stunning. I mean, we have the very, very beautiful hatch, right? I mean, and just the, the curves, the lines on this vehicle, are absolutely out of this world. Especially love the rear tail lamps, the circular tail lamps, LEDs, very crisp, very clean lines. Um, this looks absolutely breathtaking. The front, the front's a very great look too, especially on this fully loaded model. This is the top trim level for the turbo. <clears throat> It's about, I think it's about $1,500 additional cost up from the uh, regular turbo, which is around 31. I believe this is around 33,600 for this one. Now, what you get with that is the upgraded air dam. So we got a front blacked out air dam. We also get a large rear blacked out spoiler, um, which is really nifty. And we get the 360 degree view camera system, which obviously, you know, always nice to have especially you know for a car of this size it's really honestly pretty easy to park um but you know again it never it never hurts to um have extra functionality than you know trying to park a car in, in tight spaces obviously we're talking about the dynamics of this car <laughs> it's it's really you know so much fun to drive uh you know the old one was fun because it did such a good job as far as handling goes um, and overall, you know, dynamics of the driving experience, but power was one thing that I was short on. You know, 186 horsepower is not a lot, obviously. But this guy right here, especially with that 320 foot pounds of torque, are you kidding me? This guy is like a little, it's like a little rocket ship, honestly. I mean, especially if you put it in sport mode, it adjusts the characteristics of the gearing. But I just, you know, it just takes off, guys. It just takes off, and it's such a great feeling. What a great range between that 3,500 and 5,500 RPMs gives you so much boost. And the transmission is, is really quite responsive. The steering's super tight. The chassis just really on point, guys. I mean, really just, it's so much fun to drive. I could drive this thing all the time. And, you know, the price point, again, I just want to hit home how much of a great value the Mazda 3 hatchback is, especially if you're looking for something with a little pep, a little performance. You don't want to, you know, maybe buy that $45,000 3 Series. You still want a nice car. I mean, talk about saving some money while still getting that nice driving experience. I mean, this is it right here, guys. Even just right there, popping it, you know, off that lovely, you know, 320 foot pounds of torque just allows it to just really, you know, take off on you without really, you know, pushing the engine too hard. And, you know, if you want a little bit more fun and excitement, you can pop it into manual mode, do some shifting, very quick shifts, very quick shifts, very nice and impressive shifts, shifting points on this guy. Again, it's a six speed, it's tried and true, it's very good, pops down very easily. It's just a great, uh, Great transmission, great transmission. Does a nice, uh, you know, downshift. Uh, the one little thing that I, I would maybe change on this guy would, uh, I would just give it a slightly louder exhaust. Uh, maybe even do a little bit of pop off, right? When you do a downshift, there's none of that right now. Um, it sounds like a four cylinder engine, it's, it's nothing crazy. But um, yeah, you can feel that turbo for sure. This really give you all that extra boost. It would also be cool to see a uh, PSI turbo boost gauge um, on there as well. We don't have that right now. That's okay. This would be kind of a nice thing to have. But yeah, just you know, on the highway, 
windy roads. What a what a fun car. What a fun car to drive. So we've went ahead, we've talked about the exterior styling, how good that is. We've talked about the driving experience, the different engines available, different price points. But now let's talk a little bit about technology. That's obviously incredibly important in the 2021 here. And uh, the Mazda 3 doesn't disappoint in that, in that area. Um, right here we have our multimedia system, which is all controlled sort of via an iDrive styled uh, center control dial here, along with some fixed buttons. Um, we have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is obviously an important feature to have, um, if even using it, um, you know, all the time. So that's really phenomenal. Now, one thing, you know, the media system is decent; it's easy to use. Um, but I am, you know, constantly using, you know, the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, depending on which device you guys use. Obviously, we all, we all know that Android Auto and Android's better than Apple, but we won't go there right now. Uh, but right now, you know, right here using it and uh, it's just for the navigation you know ease of use so it's obviously important that they have that they do have it across you know all the different uh, trim levels so that's great um, the, the media system itself again there's something wrong with it uh, I most often now you know do use the Android Auto however you know in some systems like BMW I do like their system so I actually don't you know I don't use it um, now also something like the Audi system is pretty good so I, I use their system instead of connecting. Um, GM you know, obviously is doing their wireless uh, CarPlay and Auto, which is cool. Uh, this is still, you still have to plug it in. Not a big deal though. I also like that, you know, you're able to obviously charge your device um, while you're using it. Another thing it has, which is phenomenal, is the 360 degree view bird's eye camera. Um, very easy to obviously, as I mentioned before, park this guy. So that's a great feature to have. Um, this, the, the way that technology is integrated is good. We have the distance guided cruise control, lane keep assist, forward collision warning. So all of the safety features that you're used to, they're all here. Um, and yeah, I mean, this the, the packaging here, excellent price point, great driving dynamics, very slick styling. All the technology that you would, you know, come to want in uh, modern day vehicles all right here. Uh, and there's a reason that car and driver gives the Mazda 3 a 9 out of 10 score. It's one of their best cars. And there's a reason that everybody who drives them loves them, because they're so good. And I would say that you guys should definitely take a look at the Mazda brand, even if you're not in the market for, say, a you know, smaller sedan or a hatchback. Take a look at the, you know, the SUVs. They have the CX-5, the CX-9, both phenomenal options. And just, you know, with Mazda, just think, you know, solid price point, good reliability, and super high quality. That's, that's basically what the Mazda brand offers. So that's all we have for you guys today. Hopefully you've enjoyed our review here on the 2021 Mazda 3 hatchback with the all new turbocharged engine. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to get to them. And you guys take care. And until next time, I'm Kyle with Unboxed Autos.